What is the beeping? Hi, this is a sound check. Oh, that is my bear. Hi, my name is Jessica. So this is a meeting now. <laughs> Hi, Jessica. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Jessica Jassom. I'm 21 years old. I currently attend WCC, and I'm a Twitch affiliate under the name Shady Light Night as a freelance artist. Ballet is the core of most, if not all, dances that are around nowadays. So it definitely helps you like, get that composure that you need and that core strength to do a lot of the things that you do in most everything that you do in life. It also has that performance value that you need to when conducting yourself in front of others as well. There are a lot of things that I take away from ballet and apply to myself every single day. A lot of ballet is trying to find that motivation and determination to continue doing something even though you are not great at it. No one is good at anything off the bat for the most part. There are a select few who have that talent with them, but for a lot of people that I know, and myself included, you have to work for everything that you achieve and ballet is one of those things where you have to build up those core muscles and you have to build up that time schedule of when you're going to practice and you're not going to get better unless you practice. It's knowing that there are like walls that you have to decide for yourself whether you can and will break them down. And it's a struggle because you're your own emotional support and you know yourself and your limits whether or not things are achievable. My mother has definitely been there throughout the entirety of the journey because this was something that she didn't want to press on me when I was a little kid because that's usually when your parents start going, what do we want our children to be interested in? And they kind of influence you through there. My mother had an interest in dancing when she was in high school. And so when she had me, she didn't want to force that on me, but I just so happened to end up in the same ballpark. The best piece of advice that I could give would be don't do anything you regret, but don't regret anything that you didn't do. But the thing is, you're still growing. You don't have to be where you have to be at your end goal in life. So you still have the opportunity to explore and do a ton of things with your life because it's not over yet. And think about, well, if I could have done that, who's to say that I still can't? 